So I'm, I'm coming to this wood every day from nine o'clock till midday. And I can say that it's my um, source of imp inspiration, although you, you wouldn't see a direct uh, effect of the wood on my work, but the, the quietness and the amazing atmosphere of this, this place, it it's fascinates me every day. I, I don't know if I go deeper, so it, it might remind me of my father, because my father used to work in wood organization in Israel. He used to work there for 46 years. It's like save the tree kind of organization. And I spent all my childhood in woods in North Israel. So maybe there's something there as well, but it's not a conscience, you know, not kind of going back to my childhood straight away, but probably there's something in woods. But my strong memory from the woods in Israel that I, I didn't like them as a child and I wanted to escape from them. I wanted big cities and I felt that the real life, life are not happened where my father took me. Um, and probably when I came to cities, so I'm kind of escaping to wood or combining the two. But I think that, yeah, it, it probably says quite a lot about me, which can take you to black and white, positive, negative contrasts in my life. So I think that, you know, probably wood in cities um, is some kind of contrast, uh, which I enjoy and inspired by. So we'll have one idea, one idea will lead to another, and then suddenly another idea will come, and I'll, someone will pass and we're going to have a short conversation, and another idea will come after it. So a lot of things happen in here, although it looks very quiet, but it's quite, uh, quite dynamic. And, you know, I will be distracted by things that around me, and I will sketch them as well. And so I think some of my best images actually happen here. I'm very after those, a little bit like photographer that try to catch moments. So a lot of time I am trying to catch moments when I, when I see things that probably a, a lot of people don't see or people around me don't see. And then I will sketch them and then it will go from sketch to the computer. Then it can become print, sculpture. So um, I think it's a little bit like writing as well. You know, a lot of time you can sit hours and hours and write and then just one thing can move you and, and and create a new narrative, a new direction, a new idea. So it, it happens very, very often. And a lot of unpredictable things prove to be useful for solutions. And, and you know, so it's great. <laughs>